Okay, guys, let's go ahead and uh, react to Nick's new video, EA Sports Sucks. I'm not against this because the content has been horrible. I love how he puts the gold players pack untradeable <laughs> for the uh, for the thumbnail. It actually makes a lot of sense because that's from the 20 rival wins in the elite division. So a little bit chalked there. Super sweaty to get that as well. So let's go see what he says about the game. Let's see what he says. Put this over here. Am I late? I'm late. 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 Jerzinho SBC. Nah. No. Yo, it's so dead, man. It's so dead. The content, bro. It's so dead. Who is doing a two star week for SBC, man? Winner's Lounge. Win 20 matches in the elite tier of division rivals. Yeah, that's horrible. For a gold players pack. Yeah, but what if Welcome you get Mbappe, to though? Become truly elite by winning in the elite oh, tier. Oh, they the even say that, bro. Become truly elite by winning the elite tier of division rivals and get a special VIP area. Ah. Division rivals and get a special VIP area. EA Sports, are you guys drunk <laughs> what are you taking the piss with this content this is dog shit bro this is the worst thing i have seen in years on fifa bro they are truly laughing at you bro they you guys are so out of touch at ea man so out of touch no one can save you i can't save you no one can save you in the chat win let me let me read this out loud again best of the best win 20 matches in the elite tier of division rivals Win 20 matches in the elite division for a gold f players pack. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Let me ask you something, EA Sports. What is wrong with you guys? What makes you think this is acceptable in any regard? Like, you know what? It, you know what it is though. This part of the video, th this reward, it's like the tipping point. It's like them putting saliva all over their hands and then slapping you in the face. Honestly, with the content that we've received, I've seen people protect the type of content that we've gotten let me tell you guys something right now okay in division rivals which is the only mode that we have to play regular fifa which is incredibly sweaty okay these cards are gonna be annoying to use in these division rivals men bergwine does not get a weak foot improvement if he upgrades he gets in form improvements but a two-star weak foot is ma bro a three-star weak foot it's already it's already annoying if i shoot the ball with diaby sometimes it's already annoying but a two-star weak foot is insane. And it's like, it's like, dude, as a video game, the two-star weak foot thing, like when you make a card in SBC, why are we still making a two-star weak foot objective or SBC when it's not usable in the game? I'm sorry, like at least a three-star, you know what I'm saying? So this is like the tip because dude, like the, some of the SBCs they release, like Jonathan David was too expensive. Diego Carlos is too expensive. You have to wait so long for these upgrades to even happen and david i'm sorry not having the the skill moves by itself like no because like dude you, you start to hit the tops it's just it just gets annoying people would be like oh but the five star week foot, the finishing like you're making excuses for the company to provide you with garbage basically you know what i'm saying like I, am i missing something here boys welcome to the top become truly elite by winning in the elite tier of division rivals and get a special VIP area. Win 20 matches in the elite tier of division rivals. Objective reward, gold players pack with one rare gold. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I'm not even overreacting. Do you know how impossible it is to get to the elite division right now? There's like hardly anyone there. And to get to the elite division, once you get to the elite division, EA Sports is going to give you a gold players pack. You can get a gold players pack for losing in the first round of the f foot draft. <laughs> what is this? Honestly, what is this, man? I'm not even like faking some shit right now. This is so trash from EA. So trash. They have Jamie Foot Economist coming in my. It was built up though. Like I said, it's built up to this point because all the content that has been released has been so horrible, right? It's been so, so bad. In the beginning, we started off hot. Nice little flashback to Bruyne. Even Player of the Month Madison was pretty cool. You know, even um, Kubo has 45K, like, you know, cheap card. You know, it's definitely going to be like a, a meta-oriented card. You can definitely use them in the top divisions for sure, right? 
but then some of these cards man like the at the price point for the beginning of the year that's the that's the key thing here like people don't even have 100k to work with from playing the game normally because you have to wait for your rewards weekly and not everyone's crazy at the market right which ea are always saying like oh but you guys got to get good at the market i love playing a video game to be a stock market analyst honestly it's the best thing in the world i stream saying what can we do to work on this game and you guys come to me weekly wanting to amend some relationship there's a reason the real people in this game don't want to work with you because you guys are morons bro you guys take the piss out of us to the actual people that sit here and grind this game 24 7 you guys are so out of touch at your company what is wrong with you guys there is no acceptable miss of this objective i don't even understand what is this objective what am i looking at bro welcome to the top become truly elite by winning in the sorry guys just one second i have to check something real quick okay sorry Sorry, sorry, sorry. Back. <laughs> Elite tier of division rivals and get a special VIP area. Win 20 matches in the Elite tier of division rivals to get a gold players pack. A gold players pack. EA. What is that, Mike? Yes. What is that? Win 20 matches in the Elite tier of division rivals to get a gold players pack. A gold. <laughs> Yo, is that like a sure microphone without the without the the fluff parts? Players pack. EA, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, EA. Nobody wants a special VIP area. No one gives a crap. No one gives a damn shit about a VIP area. You know what us rats who play this game want? We want 100k packs. We want promo player picks, bro. We don't want gold players packs. We don't want special VIP areas. If I win 20 matches in Elite Team... Yeah, the lack of, like, promo player picks is, like, so stupid. Like, your your pack weight is so incredibly garbage that, like, people would still get the lower-rated cards. But that's, like, the least that we would ask for. For two weeks, it's so crazy. They do this for a very long period of time, eh? Where it's, like, the first, like, five, six weeks of FIFA, or even seven sometimes, they don't ever do, like... Uh, an SBC for you to try to earn at least one of the RTTK cards. Even if their pack weight would be horrible for that player pick, they don't even try to do it one time. It's so weird, man. Tier of division rivals right now. I want I want 20 I want 20 100k packs. I I 20 100k packs. Man, 20 100k packs. That will be my sacrifice. A gold players pack. What even is this pack? 10k pack? I want I want or, or I'll take five icon packs. This is this is so bad. Let me just let me just give you all perspective. Listening to this live stream right now, there is somebody at EA Sports making 60k minimum a year to post content on this game. And this is what this is what your store pack FIFA points are funding. Some moron at EA is getting some of your money. Some of your money, not the uh, most of the money's going in Andrew's pocket, whatever his name is. I don't even know. Whatever, man. But some employee is getting paid to release this content. There's no way this is foot economist. There's no way. Let me tell you something, man. University of Virginia grad, knowledgeable man. So there's no way he's a moron. But somebody is on this content team, and someone is not clearly having this being passed by some sort of approval daily. Who is who? I I need to know. I need to know who is responsible for this objective. I need to know a name. I want to know a name. EA. I want to know who is getting paid. 60,000 minimum per year in Vancouver, Canada to release this absolutely horrifically shit content. 20 wins in the Elite Division for a special VIP area and a gold players pack. And a gold players pack. A gold players pack. Am I missing something? Like, is there something wrong with this objective? Winner's Lounge. I can't believe this, bro. Honestly, I can't believe this objective. Take me there. Let's go. Take me there, EA. Oh, we've got a bit to go. So the elite division. Let's click the left stick. Let's see what we're win 20 matches. Okay, we got to get to the elite division. Are you guys stupid, bro? Let me ask you this as well about how stupid you are at EA Sports, bro. All right, I get into the elite division. Let's say I win three games. Okay, you absolute idiots, bro. Look at what I get for three games. So you think you think it's an acceptable objective? You think it's acceptable for almost seven times the amount of. You guys, I just want to say something. I have to mention this, okay? Only in our community do people accept garbage and protect it, okay? Because the rewards have genuinely gotten worse as the time has passed by. We used to play Division 1. Like, just listen to this for a second, okay? 
we used to play division one back in the day that had a more open matchmaking because it was basically division one two three a more open matchmaking to get 15k coins that was honestly really really helpful towards doing the transfer market stuff it nowadays would be helpful for the sbc stuff right and people think that waiting an entire week to get these types of rewards is an acceptable thing where even an untradeable reward is like deemed acceptable it's i'm sorry it's just not man it's it's really not there's no like i, I always complain about the gameplay game modes in this game because dude like as a streamer myself i always tell this to nick all the time right this game is very tough to stream as a content creator because you are genuinely sweating and leaking from your pits the entire time right because if you get into the I i've gotten to the third division for the other accounts right if you get to the third division guys you are playing people that are sacrificing the experience of playing the game for the results because the ea what they do is they feed off of your addiction right people will sacrifice general experience for the rewards because of their addiction to the rewards people don't understand this right if you used to play divisions back in the day People were okay with just remaining in Division 1, getting relegated from Division 1, winning Division 1, because the coin reward you would still get, right? And then you would be able to work with it somehow. So people would use different teams. Uh, people would, you know, not sweat the entire time, play five back. I mean, guys, listen, we play these guys in the higher divisions that are willing to play five back. Again, sacrifice the general experience just for the rewards. When this is the type of gameplay style we used to avoid back in the day, like if I saw you using a five back formation and the thing is that the AI wasn't as effective back then as it is in the game nowadays, right? So imagine me leaving the game when I saw the pregame screen with a five back formation back then. Nowadays, it's like what you face all the time, especially with the inconsistent gameplay again, still being a thing, right? So if you're if your players feel slow and sluggish. You have no attacking AI movement. You can't drill with the ball at your feet. And you're just facing against Park the Bus with a generic movement across the pitch. So then you have to do your FIFA mechanics, your L1 coquetas, your new skill moves to open up the space. And it's just like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's so sweaty just to feed off of an addiction that EA is so clearly doing when they make their game, you know? Wins for three wins right here to give us a gold players pack. Gold players pack. I could go into foot draft right now again and lose one game and I'll get a gold players pack. There's only one thing. There's only one thing that's like explainable about this. Someone at EA Sports has a fan. What did this guy say in his chat? Where's Inception? There's only one thing. There's only one thing that's. <laughs> Where's Inception? We need him to cook to you. Manib. <laughs> like explainable about this. <gasps> bro, Manib, bro, he's this, this guy's been around for a minute, man. Someone at EA Sports has a fetish for VIP and TIFOs. That's all I got to say. Someone has a fetish at EA Sports on the payroll. Someone has a TIFO and, and VIP fetish, bro. There's no other explanation for what I'm seeing, bro. There's no other explanation. No one is asking for this. Not one person is asking for this. Nobody. Nobody. I know Bateson likes his kits, but nobody is even asking for a VIP area for 20 matches in the elite tier, man. What is this? This is trash, bro. We're actually f As a community, we are f we're tweeting concepts on Twitter about evolutions. There's no evolutions. We're f They're not doing anything. This is what... This is where the... <laughs> bro, Adam. <laughs> bro, Adam. <laughs> Adam, bro. There's no look at Adam. Look at Adam. Yo, what's the VIP area look like? <laughs> They're not doing anything. This is what... This is where the content time is being invested. Bro, this is like the worst day of content I've seen. How out of touch are you? And for the people that suck at this game, they aren't in the elite division. Oh, let's drop a nice SBC for you. Okay, let's check SBCs today. Oh, Stevie B, two-star weak foot in the middle, right into my team. Two-star weak foot. Really? Two-star weak foot. No one's using this card, bro. Nobody. So what are we even doing checking this game at 1 p.m.? Man, it's so shit. It's so shit. If I go to the store and I see another damn store pack right now, I'm going to lose it, man. I'm going to fucking lose it, bro. Is there a new store? Oh, that's, that's been a huge issue for, with content creation, at least for myself in the beginning, right? Because I don't stream consistently. Um, if I don't stream the game up until one o'clock, I will literally not have content to post. I have to like make something up like a tactics video or just spam like player views that can grow over time. Um, a concept where it's like I built like the 500k team and I just posted a video on that like you have to do stuff like that because if you don't like there, there's just not really you have to make like concept videos basically so I've just 
I've just been like this, bro. I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Thor pack. Dude, better not be, bro. There's not. Thank God. All right, they took the day off. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that was like one of the store packs. Pack. This Dude, one. You better not be, bro. The 285. That must have been like two days ago or something. Oh, there's not. Thank God. All right, they took the day off. Because I better not be seeing that for the content. And EA's making money on the side. Oh, my. This is genuinely unbelievable. I really want to know who at this company has decided to release this SPC today. I, I don't know, bro. I don't know who is releasing this SPC today, man. 20 matches. Bro, this is what pisses me off too, right? The only people in the Elite Division right now are the pros who have already given you $10,000, bros. Who else is in the Elite Division right now? I don't know who else is even in this. Dude, the pro that I faced this last weekend, I lost to him, right? Um, oh, the team he had was disgusting. I, I was like playing and I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Like, it makes sense. If he's a pro, he's got to get these players. It makes sense, right? But I'm like, it, it's so like cringe to play against. Do you guys get what I'm saying? It's like cringe to play against. I'm like... Dude, it's the, it's, we're October 10th. This game's been fully out for like 10 days and the guy already has like a team that you would have at the end of the year. And I'm like, oh my goodness, man. So it's such a, in FIFA, it's like that though, man. It's weird. Like, so the people here, you think they're going to want to go for 20 wins? What is this chat? Gold players pack. Bro, I think, it, how many hours would it take to get 20 wins in the elite division right now? I, I, I don't even know. It, might, it could take me like 10 hours. 15 hours, bro, with the matchmaking. I don't even know, bro. Probably that's a full day of work for a gold player's pack, bro. And a v bro, this better be the most, like, this better be the craziest. V and the thing about the elite division is, like I said, you're not facing and scoring, like, authentic goals a lot of the times, man. Like, you're you're facing and scoring rat goals. Maybe you get, like, a random deflection. You score your one opportunity. You park the bus for the rest of it. Like, you're, you're sacrificing general experience just for the rewards. You guys get what I'm saying? Like, that's why I don't like these modes, man. I've talked about not liking these modes since the inclusion of foot champs which is the best mode like this is how bad it's gone okay I've, I've told you guys this so many times man foot champs is the best mode in the game now that's so bad because it's the worst thing ever included into the game <laughs> you know what i'm saying vip area you've ever seen there better be like a snoop dog in the vip area you know there better be i don't even know man like there better be some crazy this better be the craziest vip i've ever seen bro for this to be acceptable man i I don't what does this even mean guys get get a special VIP area. I'm what? out of words here, bro I will get uh, Andre says I will get the pack for share play. <laughs> like what is this? Man? It's just so out of touch like what this represents for me is that we're actually royally f We're f we ask for like things from EA that are the easiest things and this is what EA thinks is like content Like this is what EA thinks people are logging on at 6 p.m. Bro, bro, who is getting paid to release this shit? That's what I'm wondering, man. Like, oh, man, dude. Oh, man, we are sharing this planet with someone at the EA Sports office, bro, who thinks they're doing a good job in life. They think they're, like, accomplishing their goals, man, and earning their money. You're not earning shit, bro. This is the worst content I've ever f***ing seen, bro. I know it's been 12 minutes and I got the Gucci bag falling off my shoulder. Just let it go, bro. But, dude. This is garbage, bro. So bad. You know what people ask for? You to change foot draft for the first time in nine years. You to add co-op champs. Yo, OGs in the chat. How much did I grind foot champs when I, I mean foot draft when it first came out, bro? That was the only mode I played. Who is here? Well, we had a record that was insane. I think I had like 1,600 wins with like 160 losses or 60 losses. It was some crazy thing, bro. It was the only thing I grinded because I was so... Guys, I'm such a huge, like, game mode person, you know? Like, especially for a football game, which forces you to use different things. Bro, I was so into it. But guess what? Back in the day, draft was so much better because, listen, if you play draft right now... Uh, like, this is from my personal experience. Back then, attacking AI and... and uh, attacking AI was so much better. It was. For the old-gen version of the game, we have to be honest, it was so much better, right? I can go into a draft leave all of the tactics on default right 50 50 50 50 bounce 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 no direct passing direct passing worst thing ever added but it's needed against the park the bus right bounce 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 for everything and you would have a good experience playing the foot draft and this was during the time period where the there was the chemistry glitch where i would just put players wherever i wanted it didn't matter bro because the chem no, the chemistry glitch was like thank goodness the chemistry glitch existed that was the best part about it because i can use whatever i want wherever i wanted it was the best and I used to tell people all the time in my chat, I'm like, guys, you guys don't understand. My players don't feel horrible. I'm, I'm trying to tell you this, right? Oh, dude, I used to grind draft like crazy. But then 
a year after I played it a little bit and I'll, and then a year after again, I was like, this is boring. Like you got to change it up. You know what I'm saying? If I go play Call of Duty, they have domination, uh, team deathmatch. If I only played team deathmatch in Call of Duty, if I only played the competitive in Call of Duty, I would lose my mind, bro. It'd be so boring. That, like I said, this is, this has been the thing that has thrown me off from streaming for, uh, from streaming consistently to you guys. This is the thing, because if I go play division rivals right now, one, this shirt, you see how you see the color of this shirt right now? It's going to be black. OK, it's going to be completely black because I'm going to be dripping in sweat. All right. I'm going to be dripping. If I go play foot drafts, foot drafts are usually sweaty nowadays. But do you guys know why it's sweaty? Because the base mechanics of the game is park the bus. It's park the bus base mechanics. That's why it's sweatier. OK, because you don't have that crazy attacking AI with the bounce bounce like you did back in the day. You need direct passing nowadays. Bro, I, I, I play a foot draft. I have to select. I'm like, which one? is a meta formation because if I if I'm playing a game you know how sometimes you're playing division rivals and you're like using a 4-2-3-1 against someone you're like ah, I need to do a 4-4-2 against this guy there's no there's no doing that in draft like you just you have to do a deal with what you got you know so you need a formation that can handle every situation as much as possible it's frustrating yeah these are things we asked for you to add new evolutions bro no one asked for a special VIP area in a division Evolutions is another issue because I try to explain this to people all the time. Remy, good to see you, bro. What's up? Um, evolutions is another problem, guys, because if you hit the elite division, good luck getting assists with your midfielders, bro. Good luck, man. Good luck, bro. I, do you when I when I grinded to division three too quickly, I had to wait because I, I grinded to division three like I think a, like a week ago or a week and a half ago, right? And I honestly. I, I couldn't get an assist for Gravenbridge for my life because it's division it's division rivals or champs. I have to wait for qualifications in champs for me to be able to get the objective. I have to wait like probably like a whole week until that point because guess what? Foot champs is the best game mode in the game, but it's the worst thing ever included. Like, ugh. Division that nobody is in. Nobody's in elite division. Anders is in elite division. Tex is in elite division. Wow, what a reward for you, Anders and Tex, spending 10k on the game. Here's a gold players pack. <laughs> Bro, EA's just pissing everybody's face, man. Pissed in everybody's face. Someone's getting paid 70k a year to piss in your face. This is worse than like the prime icon shit in FIFA 19 when EA's like, oh, we heard you. We heard you. Here's the prime icons when we all wanted moments. You didn't hear shit. Open your ears, EA. No, because this hits home because I'm on my way to the elite division. Oh, what a motivation for me, bro. Now I can go in 20 games to be more elite and get a gold players pack. This better be the craziest VIP area I've ever seen in my life. Let me just put it that way. Bro, the chat's too funny. Me in division seven. <laughs> because this gold players pack changes nothing. This better be the most incredible VIP area. I want to... I want to see whoever gets first in the world. I want to see a YouTube title first in the world to special VIP area. It better be crazy. I'll be waiting to see what EA have prepared for us. What a mental World Health Day content for EA. This is why I can never be with this company, man. Because I'm affiliating with idiots, bro. Idiots. Idiots. This content is just genuinely uneducated content. What is this content? Who is getting paid? Who has a college uni degree, bro? Who is sitting in a LinkedIn profile to work at EA to do this for a living, bro? What is this shit? This is all the way lowest I've ever seen. At least make a TikTok day in the life of what I do at EA. Get a Starbucks, shoot some basketballs. What is this, man? Oh my God. It's so bad, dude. This is where I'm going to get in trouble, bro, because this is when you start getting too personal. But I don't know the EA employee who has released this, but like... Oh, honey, I'm home. Oh, how was work today? What'd you do? Oh, I released a gold players pack for the top tier players in the elite division. And I crafted a special VIP area. What a f job for you, dude. All right. So there's an idiot at EA that thinks this is good content, right? Warren this Inception. is good content, right? Okay. What about the other idiots approving the content? That's the worst part about it. Like there's other idiots that are sitting at the coffee table saying thumbs up at 10 a.m. Oh, or 9 a.m. Vancouver time. Oh, thumbs up. This is really good. Like, I like this content today. Let's post this one. What the f man? What the f Like, what the f bro? We're doomed, man. We're literally doomed, bro. We're doomed. This entire year, we're doomed, bro. I, I tell you this. It's, it's, it's the same dude. 100% it's the same dude. They about to send you to the gulag. Bro, so be it, man. So be it. Like, it's the same dude who did this, bro. My controller turned off, guys. RIP my settings. Oh, same dude who did this, man. Yeah. Yeah, let's play. Yeah, let's play 90 games in every division for a f***ing TFO. Same guy. It's the same guy. Just got a fetish. He must have a fetish. There's no... 
Like, it's just, it's so laughable, bro. It's so laughable, bro. Eight wins a week to get 200k packs in elite, <laughs> Division 1 and Elite Division. 90 divided by 8. What's the hell is that even? Like, 12 probably? I don't know. It's probably like 11 or 12. It's a it's like 11. It's 11. 11 times that amount of rewards for a TIFO for a whole two months. What a two months of grinding for you. <laughs> EA, man, EA... Like, we are so doomed, bro. This is the thing you guys don't understand. We are so doomed, bro. If this is the level of IQ of employees... We were already doomed because they didn't change their game modes again, bro. ...these that are working at the company every day that we expect to have fun on this game. We're so doomed, bro. We're so, so doomed, man. This is why a couple years ago, bro, and everyone's like... Just remember, I told you guys back in FIFA 17, the game modes were not correct. Just remember that. And people were, were against me like crazy. Oh, you think next year is going to be better? I'm just like, I, I give up, dude. I give up with these guys, man. I really do, man. I, you know, I, I used to send them feedback and stuff. Like, it's just, don't even Oh, the bother, feedback man. falls on deaf ears, man. Bother. If you are a content creator, man, you, you, you just got to give up, man. You guys got to <laughs> give up, bro. Even just trying to work with these guys at EA. <laughs> they, uh, like, go, go to the EA Creator Network. Just take advantage of all this shit because these guys, man, like they, they just, they're not, they're not there to improve this game. Like they're just there to make money. They don't know what they're doing, bro. Oh my God. Like poor Inception, man. You know, Inception's making videos every day. Like that's, they, they, like they join into the videos and the streams. Oh, what can we do to help you guys? Bro, this guy Inception's making videos every day telling you how to fix your game, bro. You guys. <laughs> Is make it worse every year this year we don't even know how to score the ball anymore all right it's just like oh my god man poor nepenthes bro nepenthes had depression two weeks ago <laughs> Maverick. he probably hasn't even posted a 6 p.m video in two weeks ea you're ruining nepenthes man you're ruining him you're just ruining everything right now you're ruining everything ea this is a tier below horrifically shambolic what would you even call that tier ea let me tell you something guys when when, when we all get these 20 matches of elite wins I'm going to put together a nice share play video for you absolute idiots to see how bad these garbage rewards are. All right. And we'll just see if you think it's acceptable. I'm going to put together a nice video of some elite division sweats and we're going to collectively open and claim our special VIP areas and gold players packs together. And we'll show you guys what you have deservedly given us for our 20 wins in the hardest division in FIFA. Oh my God, man. I'm going to be sick. Uh, man, I really hope this surfaces to EA. I really hope. I really hope we can get a message here. You're probably going to be laughing at me. You're probably going to laugh at me. But just know, deep down as you're laughing because you guys think you're funny, your levels of IQ, some of you at EA, man. It's so bad. Like, I'm laughing at you. Like, so you might laugh at me. Oh, what a, what a loser in life overreacting to FIFA content. I'm laughing at you, bro. This is so shit. I'm laughing at you because you're just stupid. No, dude. No, no, no. Let, let me tell you, man. There's not... There's not getting together with other creators and sending a message. Oh, people do this all the time every year. Bro, you can get a hundred of us. We can stop doing YouTube altogether. They'd, they'd still be making their money. EA, bro, EA is... People definitely have to stop saying that, bro. I, I've been around for a minute, bro. Like, it's 10 years probably at this point. 24, yeah, I started in FIFA 15, 16 for content creation. Bro, like, stop saying that, man. Like... <laughs> EA, Stop, like this is should be the most clear it's not us it's not us bro it's not us it's the gamers okay let me explain something to you guys really quickly do you guys remember when battlefront one came out star wars battlefront and they did a thing in that game like we have for fifa but again these guys are are gamers so they're outside of the fifa realm right they're gamers like real gamers in battlefront they added a paywall for you to use certain characters in the game and all of reddit the people in the game stopped playing everybody was freaking out because i think it was han solo wasn't a usable character unless you had to do like a whole paywall situation through the game people freaked out those are the people that will make an actual change in the game it's those guys you think a content creator saying how garbage this game is is going to make that difference no the real gamers are the ones that are gonna see how stupid these things are. Guys, I've, I've even explained this in the past. You guys know how ridiculous it is for us to have a game mode that has a paywall in it too? If you spend coins on it, it drains your coins because most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the people will not win and gain their coins back, okay? 
And then the second one is it has FIFA points for you to play. So the only other mode that's a regular mode to play, other than classic matches, which is a joke, right? Is drafts that has coins or FIFA points to play. That's like playing Call of Duty and then go playing wagers back in the day and then consistently just losing the, coin, the, the money that you earned to go and unlock your perks and your guns back in the day in the, in the original Black Ops. The game is, I already, like, listen, the game is systematically formatted for you to consistently lose your FIFA points, your coins, and to feed off of your addiction. That's it. With the, with the way that the game modes are formatted, they're forcing you to the menus more than anything. Like, well, the fact that I have to play squad battles, like, I've seen Tex play squad battles. Tex would never play squad battles in his entire life if it wasn't for his Roll to Glory stuff. You know what I'm saying? Clear thing to you ever that EA is EA. And we're, we're really doomed now because it's not FIFA anymore. We're, we're actually because under FIFA, there was some responsibility. <laughs> now it's just EAFC. It's just going to be. I want to have a quick conversation with you guys because I've genuinely thought about this, okay? Just quickly. I've because I've done football discussion videos in the past. At some point in the future, right? I might start to ease my way into that sort of content. I'm going to be completely honest because my passion for the game is not slowly, it's dead. I'm going to be honest, it is dead, right? But I do get a a, a sense of satisfaction to put out content. Like the 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 views parts, the subscription parts, growing the channel, that part is fun to me and to talk to you guys, okay? That part is the fun part. But I'm telling you guys, like I've done football discussion videos in the past and they've done okay. I might start to slowly ease my way into that because I love football, but the game, man, it's it's starting to get to that point where it's kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, it's just, it's kind of like hit that point. Like I, I'm gonna be honest, like I've genuinely gotten to that point on a personal level where I might like just kind of hit that point because it's, it's bro. Like I'm literally like, I'm, I'm scavenging to, to get content out for EAFC right now. I'm scavenging. I'm, I'm not even joking. Right. Because of the content that they release, they release cards that people are just not interested in for like the long, a long term period. Even when they release Kudus, Kudus was actually a pretty decent SPC. And it's like, you, like, this is not a crazy card for people to get. Like, you know it's not a crazy card because he plays for West Ham and his national links is hard to link, but it's a, it's a good card. You can do that with your cards. You just don't, you just choose not to do it. But I've been thinking about it. I'm not, I'm not lying to you guys. I have. The EA's world, we're living in it now, man. This is, oh my God, bro. Like, let's, let's just talk about how far off this content is right now. Let's just talk about how far off this content is. So 20 wins in the Elite Division, right? Based on the Elite Division rewards, you could get like, what? Two player picks, 84 plus, two 100K packs. Guys, honestly, like this should at least be 500K of value of rewards. At least, bros. What? He's not over-exaggerating because it's the Elite Division, especially in the beginning of the game. Is there is there a timer on this one? There's no timer, right? Oh, so, they, so they're doing it for the long term. So people from five months from now will be able to unlock this talking probably like 87 plus packs icon is there packs. A timer, boys? like the elite division especially in the next four weeks is going to be so much harder than foot champs or any other game mode in oh, this yeah. game it's so it's so it's so unbelievable foot champs has the best matchmaking because it feels like division one from back in the day unbelievably far off dude it, it's so like i don't even know if 10 100k packs is good enough but like that's what it should be and knowing ea they'll never make it that good what confuses me is that ea thinks they have some alive pro scene no you don't it's f dead but if you were to have any brain cells to want to push your pro scene don't you think it would be a good idea to motivate people into the elite division to compete with like the reward of five icon packs or some shit like no did anyone put that together at ea that's the thing I get mad. I try to do their job. Why would I try to do their job when at the end of the day, they're the only ones that are going to do their job? Just pointless, bro. It's pointless. It's just like, it's one thing if you guys knock it out of the park with content and shit, and then you're like, oh, you know, we've been our good behavior. This game is better this year. You know, let's, let's amend the relationship. That's what's... Do you guys remember when they did a uh, winter wild card? What a promo that was, man. Oh my goodness. And they just stopped doing it, bro. Like, great SBCs for great value. All of these cards we would use on a consistent basis. Our back in the day, Dimitri Pyatt with the, Chris, with the Santa Claus hats, you know? Man. And it, it's funny, because when that promo was finished, I was like, guys, we're not going to get a promo like this for the rest of the year. I'll tell you that right now. EA, they've already, they've, they've used all their energy for this promo. Pissing me. And I think for like four or five weeks, we had trash. Get off the most right now, dude. It's just, it's going worse, man. It's just going worse by the year.
I can't believe someone's making a salary. I can't believe it, bro. I can't believe it, man. EA, last thing. You know your content was so bad for a period last summer that the entire Twitch community convinced themselves that you hired middle school interns? That's how bad your content was last summer. Why am I thinking about that thought right there the second I see this content? That I feel like there's 12 to 14 year olds posting your content on this game. But no, again, as I said, probably full college graduates getting salaries to do this content. Who are you hiring? At Who are they hiring, bro? This is like the easiest job in the world. Bro, posting daily live content on a video game has to be the easiest job in the world. I don't know what's a more challenging job, dude. Yes, you're going to upset the community, okay? You're behind the EA name. Nobody knows who you are, bro. Like, just do something decent, man. God, that's even generous, bro. I bet middle school interns would do better content than this, bro. Bro, I want a name, man. Honestly, I want a name, dude. dude who? I want a name. I want a name. I want to have a conversation, bro, with who thought this is a good idea. I really want to have a conversation, man. <sighs> It's funny, you did this whole video based off of just getting that elite because it was the tipping point. It's like, especially since Nick streams consistently, you guys need to understand. Like, I know that you guys meme him a lot in his chat and stuff, right? But your stress level, it's going to be built, especially when you're playing division rivals on stream, right? Your stress levels go like this, go like this, go like this, go like this. So in his case, he's probably playing like a little bit of division rivals up until this point. And it's like, OK, one o'clock content, at least something might be worth it gets to the one o'clock content and then they release something like that. It's like, it's like I said in, earlier in the, in the, in the video, it's like, it's like putting like whatever material you can put on your hand that would make your skin have like a skin irritation, right? Put that material all over your hand and then EA just slaps you like those guys that do in like those, those, uh, those slapping videos, you know what I'm saying? Where the guy's like holding like this and he's waiting for the, he's anticipating the slap across his face, right? Like that's what it is, bro. That's with that much power across your face when the content is so bad at one o'clock, man. Especially Bergwine. Oh my god, I can't imagine using Bergwine like Division 3 or something, man. I just want to see a face. I want to see a face. Like, I just feel so bad for anyone posting these concepts, posting these evolutions, praying for these things, man. Like, oh, dude, we are so beyond f like, <laughs> like, oh my, we have no chance, dude. Been a while, bro. I don't really rant that much. Like, it's going to have to be something so bad for me to go crazy. I'm not even in the Elite Division, bro. I'm dying in Division 2 and 3. I'm sure half this chat is dying playing uh, Division 5, Division 6. Like, Rivals is so sweaty right now. So just to think of anyone that's actually in the Elite Division right now. It's just such a piss take, bro. Like, there's not even anyone even there, man. There's like 20 people in that division. It's such an out-of-touch objective, dude. What did this guy say in the chat? <laughs> anyone even there, man. There's like 20 people. Give Inception the team of Warner gameplay or he'll retire. That meme's gonna be with me for the rest of my life, eh? And I still didn't do a team of Warner review, eh? Well, in that division, it's such a. I didn't do it because I watched Nick stream and he was missing opportunities. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to deal with that. <laughs> out of touch objective, dude. It's just so out of touch. Ajax is sat in 15th and they're dropping Road to the Knockout cards. Bro, they could be in first place, man. And they're releasing a two star week for SBC. I'm gonna tell you something, too. FIFA Twitter community. I don't want to see one post if this guy gets up to an 87 saying, oh my God, should have done the SBC. I don't want to see the one two star weak foot, no. I don't want to see one post, man. No. Two star weak foot. Unacceptable. Horrible. Horrible, man. Horrible. Two star weak foot SBC. <laughs> like, I think, I think we're just like, I think the content team this year is just bad, bro. Like, they've released a center back with 54 stam, dude. For 160k. With Ooh, 71 what? acceleration, where you have to wait until, what was it that you guys said? December for the upgrades, if he actually even gets the upgrade. So you're paying 110k for an upgrade on a card that you have to wait so long for when your rare gold Varan is probably going to do the job against him. But Not probably, is going to do the job. The strategy. What are you guys cooking in these meetings? Couldn't care less about the Brazilian Premier League links either, because you're not waiting that long. You're, you're putting 110k into an SBC when people don't even have 110k. Even if you're putting fodder into it and then you put like 40k into it, right? 40k is already too much for it as well. To wait that long for an upgrade. I, I always, I tell you guys this all the time. I hate promos where you have to wait for the upgrade. I don't like it, man. I don't care what anybody says. I hated Foot Fantasy. I hated RTTK. I hated... Um, 
uh, headliners. I hate all these promos that you have to wait for an upgrade on a card. I hate them, bro. I'm, I hate Thanks, them. Like, what is your content strategy? Showdown garbage, dynamic duos, trash. I hate both of those as well. Showdowns, people are like, oh, but when the card get upgrade, gets upgraded, he's like really sick. Yeah, if he gets upgraded. What if you put 200k into an SBC and you get nothing? You feel like garbage. Strategy. Like, do you have a white again gambling? Right? It's a, it's it, they feed off of your addiction. The showdown is based off of addiction. Headliners addiction. It's all addiction, bro. Or that says release shit SBCs. Release release shit. I didn't even know she released. I'm gonna be honest. Content with like a check, and then you guys feel better about yourselves or something. Or did the good content team just go to the store packs now? This is the strategy I can see with someone just said in the chat. Maybe it's in EA's best interest. Get rid of Izzy SBCs would be fine if you had a good tournament mode next to it. And then as you're as you're playing the game, you're collecting fodder from playing the game normally. And then you're like, oh, let me just put this fodder into this SBC. Oh, let me try to use this air divisi team in the, into the tournament mode. But you're not going to use it in in the higher divisions. Like you're just not. I I I'm not even joking. If I built up my coins, I wouldn't even use Bergwine in Division Ten. Like I I wouldn't want to use Bergwine as Division. Like you, if he was Portuguese, I wouldn't use him. I don't even use Portuguese players for fun right now. I I played the Portuguese players for five games and told my boy Crime right away. Crime, give me coins, bro. I'm not playing with this. Like no chance. In this game especially, it's like the car. Like guys, in this game back in the day, bro. If you got Christian Atsu as a rare gold card, he would be able to move. You are not buying players because they're meta. You're buying players just to be able to move like a regular video game. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness, you guys should see. When I was using Gonzalo Gedge, I was like, nope. That now, if they release crap content, people will be forced into buying the store packs with money. That's that's the only that's the only possible thing I could see here that maybe they're cooking up. I don't even know. Boys, this is the uh is that the VIP area? Yo, can we get confirmation, boys? Is this the yeah, this is the... All right, boys. Oh, he actually well, has it. Well done, EA. Well done. Well done, lads. Wh I can flex this to the entire... Community. What is that? Is that, like a st is that like a stadium? Is that the entrance? Community, I'm sure when I play matches of FIFA, everyone's going to look at my special VIP area now. I don't know about you guys, but I I skip all this little like the intro like it's good to have in the game, but I the introduction and stuff like I don't even want to see the person's team. I just want to I just want to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to see this stuff. Yeah, just keep cold, it going. Cold, so sick, right, chat? Go get your twenty wins now, boys, in the elite division. Good luck, guys. Shaking should be. Who was the sweat the that got that? Who was today, that from you guys? Chad, I know it's one of you guys. Small chance that this is a mistake. But I, I'm putting that chance like mistake. Probably yeah, south right, of one percent. I don't think this is Come a mistake. On, and to be quite no, honest with this, you, I think Nicholas. whoever's released this content is already in the sauna for the day. Nicholas, why are you Nicholas. Why, why am I complaining? Because I spent a hundred dollars on this game, bro. And this is what I'm getting excited for every day. Nicholas. That's Nicholas. why I'm complaining, you idiot. What about you, man? Why aren't you complaining? Huh? Why are you not complaining, bro? I'm sure you like the TIFO, right? That's why you're not complaining. That is a better question. Why are you not complaining? Like I said, if 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 people in our community was the same as that Battlefront community, haha, it would be a different game. I'll tell you that for free. Whatever, Maybe some people aren't going to complain if they're in Division 10, so they can't get that objective in their life ever. What a rant for me, man. Let me tell you something. If there's one thing from the last 30 minutes, hopefully EA is getting f cooked on Twitter for this content. On X, whatever. Oh, they don't care if they are. They deserve the BBQ today. Bro, shouldn't you log on every day? Like nobody let me let me paint this perspective to you. People used to log on and get excited. Everybody every day in EAFC 24 now does not get excited for content. Including myself. Every day at 1 p.m. It's not this, oh, I'm so excited to see what amazing player EA is releasing today. Or like crazy upgrade or crazy objective. Bro, everybody, like EA, you guys are so bad at your job this year. Everybody knows it's going to be shit. Yeah. That's where you're a bit lucky. In the past, you've had good days and bad days. When I saw Kudu's, so I was like surprised. Like, I was like, you. Now everybody okay. just knows this shit. So like people don't even really care too much that you're that bad at your job. Everybody already knows it's bad. All right, maybe I'll give them that. They got that going for them, but... I mean, this is for the most of the stream, too. Yeah, let, let, yeah, exactly, bro, with the evolutions, right? I mean, apparently they've already lied about it in the pitch notes. P-O-V-E-A. Oh, he has Gabriel Paulista, too. Yeah, but see how he's not using it, though? Because, like, he needs play styles and stuff, man. Let's drop the best feature we've dropped in since Foot Champions in FIFA 17. Foot Champions is a trash mode, guys. No, man, anything quantity amount is trash. It uh, Guys, let me ask you a question, just, just quick. How much do you stress when you play Foot Champs? There's your answer, okay? That's it. And let, yeah, let's just, you know. 
we're going to base your experiences off of like percentages of stress, like the Team of Warner gameplay, 70% Team of Warner gameplay, right? If you play divisions back in the day, maybe your stress level was at like 25%. If you play the elite division right now or division one or even foot champs, your stress level is at 80% the entire time playing that entire game. You know, two weeks. Actually, less so than division rivals, to be honest. Foot champs, like I said, it has the best matchmaking in the game, which is so bad, bad. Weeks. So bad. We just, we just, we're done. We're done. Like, we're done. All right, you guys got a couple game. evolutions. No worries, man. We'll I have to wait for foot champs qualities just to do my midfielder objective. Season. Oh, what a 40 day ongoing evolution grind for us. Come on, man. Do your job, bro. This is not so hard to do. This is just not hard to do, bro. Whoever came up with evolutions, by the way, is like GG's to you because evolution is actually a really good concept. Like I actually use Jota and Turam in my team and they're both really nice. I actually like them a lot. And they, you could definitely tell like the noticeable upgrade when they got the upgrade. They're very, very nice cards. And they're cards that you can use because you have to you have to base your content off of whether or not cards are meta enough to use in the top divisions. And those two cards are, right? Them, uh, Graven Birch came out. He was nice. Uh, Raspadori's Relentless Winger was cool. Anzu Fati, obviously one of the most picked uh, evolutions. He's obviously very good as well. Um, even Dan Yuma, Founders, like great card because he has a five-star weak foot, right? I'm pressed, man, because, dude, this is not hard to do, bro. Like, this content is not... Guys, I, something that needs to be mentioned when it comes to like talking about FIFA or just discussing about these things in general, we're not looking to be negative. They're, they're, they make it easy for you to be negative because the game is trash. The game is formatted like trash. I haven't streamed this game consistently since FIFA 17 because of the inclusion of foot chance because I already saw the direction that the game was headed towards, right? And back then I was like, oh, like, dude, I... I used to, I, I was telling my boy Matthew this the other day, right? Because he's a long time viewer as well. And I play Call of Duty with him all the time. Great kid. And I'll tell you guys this right now, man. Back then was great because I used to play divisions. If people used to watch my streams back in the day, right? I used to play divisions for division one. And then I got to a point where the way that I was trying to get known in the community, like when I was breaking through, because there wasn't like TikTok and all this stuff back in the day, right? Was to be number one for titles one season points and match it was match coins earned season points and titles which we were able to do for all three of those right and it was great because once i personally accomplished that i was like okay i'm gonna go play i'm gonna go play something else I'm gonna go play the gold tournament mode and then once i was like overtaken because there was one guy that was literally hacking to get the stuff like people even told me that he was hacking um i would be like okay then i have to go overthrow the guy again because that was like a way to kind of break through but i had this thing of boredom right i'm like okay division one i'm bored of division one even after the tournament thing, right? This is FIFA 17 probably or 16. I was like, if I got bored of division one, I would go play the tournament mode, which is just, back then was just the gold cup, right? So you just play the gold cup. I would play the gold cup over and over and over again. And then once I got bored of the gold cup and I would play the draft over and over and over again, I'm a huge, like I said, I was, like I said earlier, I'm a huge gameplay game modes guy, right? But like as a streamer now, like I even feel bad for Nick. I was telling him in the stream, I'm like, bro, if you're a content creator and you're a streamer specifically, like it's tough, man. It's tough because you're going to be sweating the entire time just to be able to play the game normally. Like, dude, I see these guys on Warzone and I genuinely get jealous because I'm going to be honest with you guys. If I was like really good at Call of Duty and I consistently stream that game for 15 hours a day, I think the time would honestly pass by the entire time because obviously they're sweating because they're very good players. But like the matchmaking is not as crazy as it is for us man it's just not the same thing and they have skilled based matchmaking but it's just not the same thing because if you're a player like tp for instance right you're going to be facing people like imagine if it was like division rivals right so it's like tp who is in division uh one is facing someone who's in division four or five that's what it feels like right but for us bro when you start climbing the divisions and you're locked there that's all you face bro you're you're facing people like i mentioned earlier that are sacrificing the general experience for the results because of their addiction towards getting certain rewards or they're crazy and they just want to play the game as quickly as possible to get off. Guys, how many times do you see this on Footbin or when the content comes out at one o'clock where you go into the comment section for Footbin, an SPC is released and the person in the comment section literally says 1259 log in 101 log off because the game as a standalone game is not good. I don't need to go and play a game like Call of Duty and wait for one o'clock content every day just to be somewhat interested in the game because the game itself already has all of these things you can do, all of these modes, all of these maps. 
You know, that's why Foot Draft, when it first came out, I played it like crazy. I played over 2,000 matches on it. I streamed it all the time when it was the chemistry glitch. But why do I not do it anymore? Because it gets boring. It's boring to do the same thing over and over again. And it's sweatier now because of the, because of the default park the bus tactic and direct passing. The, I, I love being able to just do bounce, 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 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Instructions, certain areas like CDMs on stay back, full back, stay back. The rest of it bounce, no getting behind, nothing. They would, they would still move way better than they do nowadays. Like, this is the thing. Many of you guys in the chat work a nine to five. Some of you guys probably work overnight. Regardless, if you're not working, you're probably in school in my chat, okay? For the record, I've, this has been well established for God knows how long because I've done rant videos on a consistent basis. I think you guys are genuinely crazy for playing this game. Like, we, you guys know this, right? Like, I've, I've already discussed this on many occasions. Like, I'm playing the game, and I'm like, dude, I packed, like, Rashford first owner, and I, and I felt nothing because I'm like, dude, like, okay, he's a meta player I'm going to use in the top divisions. Great pull. But it's like, I feel more of a connection back in the day for foot champs. If you, if you guys watch my foot champs opening when back in the day they give you, in top 100, they gave you, like, all those red picks, go watch my reaction to Nepenthes opening my pack. Um, just do me that favor. It's not the same as it was for everybody else, where it's like they only wanted meta players. Like, bro, they gave me Portuguese players. They gave me, like, I think, like, Taro Martinez. And I'm like, oh, all these cards are usable. Because that's my mindset. My mindset is to give me cards and then to play them in a mode. It could even be Foot Champs matchmaking, because Foot, Cham Foot Champs matchmaking is basically Division One from back in the day, right? Foot Champs matchmaking, but I'm using all these different players, all these different teams. That's what I was looking forward to. I was like, I, whatever the red picks I got were, they didn't have to be like the absolute like Griezmann's and Mbappe's or whatever it was back in the day, right? It didn't have to be that, right? But when I did get that, I'm like, okay, great. If I go play divisions and I feel like sweating it out a little bit, I'm going to use these crazy players. But back then, if they gave me a Latar Martinez, they gave me a William Carvalho, all these cards, they were all usable because there was divisions. If you, if I get those red picks right now, I, would, I wouldn't even want to touch them. I'm going to be honest with you. I was like... You guys but I'm not joking. Go watch my reaction. People even used to tell me back in the day that your reaction is the most like appreciated reaction in the community because you just want players to try out different things because everybody else just wanted like the meta cards, you know? You are doing something in the day. If you're in high school, you're probably in school from like eight to three. If you're in college, it's like an ongoing show all day. Maybe you're working in college. If you got a job, you're probably working 40 hours a week or something like that. Okay, okay. That's perspective. Most people in this chat are working. Maybe you are a father. That's work too. If you got kids, whatever. I don't know. The bottom line is this. People at EA Sports are getting paid to work 40 hours a week to release this content. What are you doing for 40 hours? Like, or 30 hours, or 20 hours, or even 15 hours, or 10 hours. What are you guys doing? I don't even know what you're doing. Like, like, don't tell me. Bro, do not tell me that this objective released today, like last thing, I know I'm, I know I need to let it go. Don't tell me you're 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 clocking in like you got Johnny and Timmy in the back, bro, clocking in three hours, coming up with this design. Then you wafflers are clocking in seven more hours in some meeting all day to go over if this is good. And then it's approved after 10 hours of work. Like, what are you guys doing all day? Honestly, what are you doing? What are they getting paid to do at this company? I don't really get it, man. I think some people don't speak about this stuff or like go too crazy because I think everyone's friends with everyone who works at EA. But mm -hmm. bro, how can you be friends with these guys, yeah. man? Like me and you are not the same, bro. How do I be friends with someone this dumb? We're not the same, bro. Like how do we even have a conversation if this is what you're doing for your job, man? God, bro. God, man. Oh my God, bro. Someone's getting paid to do this, bro. I'm done. I'm done, man. I'm done. I'm just, that's all I'm saying, man. I feel Can I just show you guys something just really quickly? I made, I've made this, I've made this video. I've made this video so many times, man. So many times. I'm just going to show you guys one quick, one quick video. Okay. Let me see if it's just mode. Is it just mode? It might be just mode. Let me see. Um... My thoughts on Ultimate Team as a game mode and why it should be better. FIFA 20. What was in FIFA 20? Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here. Hey, look at your boy, bro. Look at your boy. Here and welcome to another video. I think this is what today we're we'll talking about. FIFA 20, they had division rivals, I think. 29 wins with skill. This is when I did roll to glories, but look at that team. Two players. Here. So this, is this the Elite Division probably? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Oh, Division 2 in the beginning of the year, yeah. 
that's when you grind it like way too. If you grind it early, you're gonna get so many losses, man. Right? Let's just, as you guys know, tradable. I even talked about it back in the day. It's not this video though, man. It's not this one. I, I wanna just see if I can find it because I've religiously talked about this for God knows how long, bro. It's been, it's been like too much. It's been too much. Okay, just, just, um, Moj, or we need, I'm gonna put need. Need. Is it need? It might be. Uh, we need to talk about, oh, this one. Here it is, boys. Here it is, man. So if you guys are confused as to what Nick talks about, if you guys haven't watched the Rants videos in general. Hey guys, what's going on? This is what he's talking about, right? Okay. So I literally made a video two years ago and I've been talking about it like religiously. This is like during foot 21 where I literally made a video saying these game modes are needed to make FIFA fun again. Right. And back in the day, look at the record, right? 1,200, 13 and 111. This was the year. I think this was one or two years after when I really played the game. Like I'm talking like 4,000 matches played when I was like really grinding. Right. And back in the day. We had online draft, we had foot champions, and we have online seasons. Online seasons is genuinely better than what we have right now at Division Rivals. Fact or no, chat? Just let me know right now in the chat. Fact or no, is it not better than what we have right now in Division Rivals? Because I'm telling you this right now, it 100% is. With open matchmaking, that's like foot champs right now, and you get coin rewards on a consistent level, right? But the thing is, man, no, is that in this video, this one mode, EA, EA has it. They have this mode, bro. And they just never, ever, ever add it into the game. It's the best mode ever created, okay? It's this mode right here, bro. Let's get to it. Let's see. So this is draft. Let's see what my draft record was, actually. Sh I show it here. Let's just see what it was. Is it here? Here, here, here. Oh, let me see. Oh, right there. So draft in the beginning. 731, 41 losses. Not too bad. 166 in a row. That's actually pretty solid with the chemistry and stuff. So I, I even played it a lot during this time period, but this is when it was starting to like slow down a little bit. I, I definitely remember. And again, this is old gen FIFA. So if I use bounce, bounce, bounce for everything, and then I just put like stay back while attacking on both the center mids and the fullbacks, like I was good to go, right? But it wasn't this. Like talking about this, like yeah, I, in this video, you hear me talk about saying how foot draft hasn't been changed. This was two years ago, right? But it was this mode right here, bro. This mode right here, bro. I don't know how many years I'm going to have to talk about this mode, okay? I don't know how many, okay? This mode, the concept of this mode is the best game mode you have in the game, bro, okay? The best, all right? It does not have to be a separate game mode like the World Cup or the Euros or the Champions League. I am talking about the format of the gameplay game mode that is incredible, especially with the inclusion of what you did back in the day with objectives, right? Okay. Because we have to play squad battles for these objectives and it drives me crazy, all right? This one right here, bro, so good. You have a table, you have three games. With your three games, you just need to collect enough points to be top two, to go into the rounds. If you go into the rounds, you go round of 16, round of eight, or what was it? What was it back in the day, guys? Was it 16, eight quarters, semis, finals? It was something like that, right? Oh my goodness gracious, what a game mode. Okay, you wanna keep your division rivals the way that it is right now, where it's incredibly sweaty, where people have to get to the elite division to whatever, no problem. But this mode right here is the best mode you have for gameplay and they never make it the tournament mode in the game, bro. I asked just for the least of everything, a gold tournament cup like we did back in the day with the gold cup, 2K coins for winning it. Just at least that, we don't even get that. But this mode right here, bro, this mode is borderline addicting to play, bro. If this game mode existed in this game right now, people wouldn't care about the balance of game modes in this game because they would know that if they're playing regular FIFA, they're gonna go play sweaty FIFA, right? In division rivals they know that they have to use their full meta cards no problem but this mode was so perfect you want to do a nice little champions league tournament a cup run with like an fc portal team go right ahead because the matchmaking is more open right i don't understand why game companies still don't understand this okay 
I don't understand why they don't get this yet. It's so annoying. X Defiant, who is delaying their game, at least they understand how a game should be formatted. This is not up for discussion. This is actual fact, okay? Because it irritates me when a company doesn't do this. Because Fortnite even did this one point. I don't know if they still do, but they did this one point, which is what made the game so good. In your public regular matches, you have more of an open match, meaning that has a little bit of skill base, right? Like, again, this mode right here is basically that skill base because if you qualify and you get past those first two rounds, okay, you're going to be facing a sweatier opponent. But that's fine because you had your four or five games where you're not always, because you sometimes will match them, right? But you won't always face a sweaty guy. You have that type of mode. But then you have your mode that is you climbing the ranks of divisions like we did back in the day with divisions, right? Climbing the ranks and you trying to get better at the game, right? If I go play NHL, I'm going to be horrible at it. But my favorite experience is to try to get better at the game, right? So that's what I would do in NHL. The, the goal would be to hit Division 1 and to hit a certain skill gap where I'm like, okay, now I'm good at this game, right? And now I can go play something else and then I go back and forth. That's what X Defiance seems like they're going to do. They're making their lobbies, public lobbies, open matchmaking. And then they're going to have a competitive mode so that if you are not good at the game and you're in the lower ranks of the, of the competitive, you are trying to get better at the game. That's the balance. And we still don't have that in FIFA. It's trash, man. It's garbage, guys. I've talked about these modes ever since FIFA 17, and I already knew it was heading in this direction. That's why I don't stream consistently, bro, because I was like... Dude, I, I played a lot of games during this time, guys. Look, I, I even streamed a little bit. But again, during that time period, I was really on and off. Sometimes I would play foot champs. Sometimes I wouldn't. You would be able to see this. Like this is, I think, during the time period where they have like the 40 games. So I was like very on and off because I was like, bro, like something has to change. And then they made it worse. You know, so. Listen, I'm a broken record with this type of stuff. Like I, I've talked about I've talked about this type of stuff on a consistent basis nothing from what i'm saying right now is new information you guys have heard this if you watch the rants videos nothing of what i'm saying is changed information it has always been the same okay i'm a person who feeds off of general experience when it comes to video games if i go play call of duty right now and the only mode i can play is the competitive modes and i can only use the absolute top tier meta weapons I would be incredibly bored in the game. I would uninstall it. I would never play it again. But because that game has the different weapons you can use, the different game modes you can use, different, um, basically like skilled base. Well, they have their skill based matching, which people complain about in the call, a call of duty community. Imagine if they played FIFA, right? It's just crazy, bro. It's crazy. I'm not even joking, guys. Foot champs, bro. And my settings reset because, because this game, oh, my controller was still on, guys. Let's go, man. My settings didn't reset. Let's go, dude. If I go play right now, foot champs, we played foot champs, we win 10 and 0. Me getting the 10 and 0, me playing the foot champs afterwards is the best matchmaking in the game because that's what Division 1 was back in the day. It's the best matchmaking in the game, bro. Because I'm not trying to face someone who's absolute garbage at the game. That's what your that's what your other mode is for. For them to get better, they're going to be in a lower division so they're going to try to climb, right? But you play this mode, which is like competent players all the time, that's the best. Not people sacrificing their, their absolute soul to get a result just to get packs and rewards that they're not going to do anything with it. There's, these are the same guys that hop on your game at 12.59 and get off at 101 if your SBC content sucks at 1 o'clock. They're not playing the game more, than after, uh, more, more afterwards. They're going to go play Call of Duty or something. I, guess I start to get into passion inception, pinception over here, you know what I'm saying? But like, it's not new information, man. I've already talked about this. I, I, it's the information that, that I give when it comes down to these rants, it falls on deaf ears. I've gone to their studios three different occasions. I've talked about their gameplay game modes. Like guys, the first visit that I went there was the, more, the biggest waste of time my entire life, right? I don't even know, the, the organization was complete trash. The last two were great, but guess what? The two guys that used to work there, the last time I went there, no longer work there anymore. Surprise, surprise. My good visits that I went there were the great guys that I worked with, right? But the first time, bro, they sent me... Oh, this is when I used to rant about the game, okay? This is when I used to rant about the game. They sent me over to work on a mobile game. I swear on my life, they sent me over to work on a mobile game. I had one or two hours from the three days that I went there to talk about the, the content and the gameplay game modes and the gameplay itself to the guy that worked on the console. And, I, and I'm and i not even joking when I say this, bro. 
you guys can go ask Footwiz Den. You can go ask Foothead Den. You can go ask, um, there was another guy there, but I forgot who it was, right? And they were completely silenced because of the information bombs that I was sending these guys, bro. The, I don't know what they, the book? I don't know what they did to this book, bro. I think they just, I think once they were done talking to me, they went to the shredder and just tossed it in there, bro. They were silent. They didn't want to, they didn't even want to voice an opinion because of how passionate I was. Just, I was like, and it wasn't like me being rude or, or, or negative towards them. I was like really just going in on information. You know what I'm saying? And I think they just grabbed this book, bro. And they just tossed it in the shredder, bro. I'm telling you, I don't know where this book went. Because the guy went one page, two page, three page, four page, five page. Like, I'm not joking. The last two visits I went there, right? The last one I went there specifically for the inconsistent gameplay. What was my visit there for? You still have it in your game. And you guys, the tests that you guys were making me do were stupid. Because the gameplay gets better at nighttime on your game. Which is so fucking random. Right? So, so random. I was testing gameplay during the daytime and I never got the best version of gameplay when I was testing it there. They screw up attacking AI so you're forced to buy the Mbappe just to have the correct, correct attacking. You're right. You are not wrong. You are right. You are right. If you guys watch the Mbappe video, I'm like, oh, look, another year where Mbappe is the only one that has this attacking AI. That's why do you think back in the day two years ago, I freaked out about flashback Benzema? Why? I used Flashback Benzema for eight months of the year because it's the only card that had be the best. He had the best attacking AI in the game. He wasn't as good as Mbappe because Mbappe made up for it for everything else, right? But he was the only striker I can use. Bro, it's, it's like this year. Like this year, guys, I have freaked out about Benzema. I was like, oh my God, this Benzema is better than the Flashback Benzema. Oh my goodness. And thank goodness, bro, because if I didn't have Benzema this year, I would freak out again, guys. I'm telling you. I would freak out. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Yeah, five months of Gold Korea, too. I did use Gold Korea for a long time as well, man. Guys, this Tyron Reynolds guy is the biggest idiot I've ever seen in my life. This guy has, has for seven, eight years, made different accounts to go back into the chat to say the same thing to me every single time, bro. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, cooked. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you guys for the next one.